Hey, what's going on guys? This is Justin with wingsound.com. In this video, you'll learn how to do the backwards reverb effect. Now, I do this technique in Pro Tools 8, but you'll be able to do this in any software that you guys use. So let's check it out. Okay, so I have a lead vocal here that I want to create the backwards reverb effect on. I'll just play it. Our young, nimble shoulder. Okay, you get the idea. So what I like to do is duplicate the track. So this way I could do all my manipulation on that duplicated track. And if I make any mistakes, I always have the original to go back to. So to do that, just highlight the audio track, go to the track menu and go down to duplicate. Okay. So once you've done that, highlight the region, the duplicated region, go to your audio suite menu the audio suite plugins go down to other and reverse and then choose process okay so you just reverse the vocal so next thing you want to do is create an auxiliary track that you're going to put the reverb on shift command n for new track and here you can choose if you want it mono or stereo depends on what you want to do i'm going to choose stereo aux and create so next thing you want to do is on that duplicated track with the vocal you want to go to the sends and choose a bus you're not using I'm going to choose bus 1 and 2 okay then next thing you want to do is go to the inputs of that aux and choose the corresponding bus that you just used so bus 1 and 2 okay and then you want to instantiate a reverb plugin of your choice on that aux. I'm going to choose the D-verb. Okay, so let's have a listen. So my vocal is kind of rhythmic and doesn't have much sustain, so I don't want the reverb to be that long. You know, you don't. I don't want that much decay there. Okay, so I lowered the decay, as you can see right here, so it'll fit better with my vocal once it's put back together with the original vocal. Okay, so next thing you want to do is create a new audio track that you're going to record that backwards reverb effect onto. So Shift Command N, for new track, and you got to use stereo because you use the stereo aux. If you use a mono aux, then a mono audio track. Okay, so then what you want to do is go to that aux, go to the outputs, and choose a bus you're not using for the output. So I'm going to choose bus 3 and 4. Then you want to take that new audio track that you created where you're going to record that reverb effect on. You go to the input, and you make the input that corresponding bus you just used as the aux's output. So bus 3 and 4. Okay, then you want to highlight that region that you're going to record. And what I do and what I recommend is taking the little arrows here and moving the region, the highlighted region, extending it a little bit in the front and in the back. So this way any reverb decays, I record them and I don't cut them off prematurely. Okay, so on that track for record, solo up your track and your aux, and then hit record. Okay, so now you don't need that aux track anymore. You can mute it or you can delete it. So I'm just going to solo up these two tracks. And what you want to do first is highlight the recorded reversed reverb and the original vocal. You want to highlight them both. Then go to your audio suite menu, the audio suite plugins. Go to other and go back to reverse again. And then you want to hit process and reverse both of those. So as you can see, they lined up perfectly with each other, really easy. And let's hear this now. 
our young nimble shoulders can shrug at a okay and there you go and there's that backwards reverb effect